Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is a custom BBA workshop. In today's workshop, I just want to show you a really quick technique. How do you move a shape across different to different cells in Excel? And you're not going to use this every day, but it is really useful when it does come in handy. And I've used it a number of times to save me a ton of effort. So here the shape is called rectangle one. So we're gonna go active sheet dot shapes rectangle. Right. Rectangle one, and then we're gonna go left is equal to cells, and it doesn't matter what the row index is because we're dealing with the left portion of the shape. Where is it gonna go? So we're gonna go 100. This is an example, and I want to put it to the fifth column, dot left. So when we go ahead and, and run that, it moves it to the fifth column on the left portion of it. If I changed it to, for example, 10 and move it to the 10th uh, column left portion. I move it to one, even if I made this one, for example, it doesn't really matter here. And if I want to move the top of the shell, so I want to move it vertically, I would change this from left to top. And now the column index doesn't really matter. It just really matters what your, uh, what your row says. So now there you go. And we can do something fun here. So we can go 4i is equal to 1 to 10. Example. And then we can replace these components here. And then it should just move diagonally uh, down the line. So if I go, you'll see there something like pretty funky stuff. Perfect. Well, if you have any other questions or comments, I know this is a short video, but it's really useful. I've saved, saved a ton of time on the couple of times that I've needed this function. And obviously you can use it to, I often use it to loop it against uh, a number of different shapes or to align shapes. Uh, and it's really useful. You can use it with the uh, width, uh, understanding the width of a shape and using a number of different combinations. But if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up and a like and uh, share with any of your colleagues that you think would be that you think would make good use of it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.